One of my absolutely favorite things to do in Athens is to just take a walk through the central market, the Batvakios Agora, as we call it. And it's right in the downtown area. In the street, Athenas connects the Acropolis with Omonia, so the ancient city with the new city. That was how it was originally planned. And I live nearby. I just love to walk through here almost on a daily basis, kind of to see what's fresh, what might inspire me to cook. One thing I want to explain to you, the market is shaped almost like a Greek pea, so it's... And on the outside is all the meat, and on the inside of that pea is the fish. So now we're on one leg of the Greek pea, we're gonna see a lot of meat. So there's no cosmetic surgery in this market. It's not an American supermarket where everything is filleted and there's no indication that any of this stuff, I'm sorry to say this, was ever alive. do change. This is all pretty new. These little fancier eateries inside the market. Every traditional market in the world usually has some sort of very simple, usually pretty delicious uh, restaurants, you know, super simple stuff. The last couple of years we've seen kind of an evolution of that in the Athens market. We have sushi places and fancy pasta places. I'm not a great fan of it, to tell you the truth. I like the old traditional places better. So I might take you to see one or two of those too. We even have margaritas and ceviche. Uzo Meze might have been a little bit closer to home, but looks pretty good. People still come from all over the city to shop here, but it's mostly people who live in downtown or you know, pretty much central Athens. But nonetheless, it really still is a bustling city market. So now we kind of walk the L part of the Greek P, if you're following my geometry a little bit. And we're going to walk through the center where the fish market is. So I come to the fish market a lot. This is where you find the freshest catch of the city from all over Greece, some, sometimes, from all, sometimes from all over the Mediterranean. And I love the hawkers because they have voices that penetrate like walls. And yes, we even sell the carcasses. We want to make really good fish soup. <laughs> Open markets in big cities, especially in Southern Europe, are a great place to have a little local food. So we saw kind of the evolution. Now we're going to see some of the more traditional stuff, the places that I prefer to go to as well. That's a classic meze plate with a little bit of ouzo. This is more really classic, you know, kind of Greek touristy a little bit. Especially when you start seeing pictures of moussaka, pastitia, and grilled squid, grilled sardines. But the food's pretty good too. It's called macheritza, which means little knife. So you're saying most of his clientele is a mix of tourists and groups. That's <laughs> This is probably the most traditional little alleyway in the whole market. And I want to finish up with one of the last mayiria. This place, Ipiros, is called an Ino Mayirio, which means kind of a place for wine and food. Mayirio comes from the Greek Mayirevo, which means to cook, and it's one of these places that are really traditional with an open kitchen. So you walk up front, you see what they've cooked for the day, and then you order. So let's just go take a peek. And that ends my little tour of the uh, gastronomic pleasures around the central market in Athens. So they only they only cook what they find in the market on a daily basis. Yes. Magiritsa, fasolata, pakestinato, ostriata, different different uh, beans and like exactly fish, cauliflower, all sorts of things. You look up here, you order, you sit down here and eat.